Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a butterfly hairstyle and this is one that we posted on Instagram a few weeks ago and then we had a ton of requests for it and I will put the link to the original photo in the description box below. But I have started by gathering her hair into a ponytail and before I did that I parted out some hair on each side that I left out of that ponytail. I'm going to start by getting her hair a little bit wet so that we don't have flyaways. And I'm just grabbing a small strand of hair to make this braid with. I'm going to be making a four strand braid here and one of the strands is going to be a piece of ribbon. The ribbon I'm using is probably about two feet long and I'm just going to run it through the top of this elastic and pull it through until both ends are the same length. So I've split this piece of hair into three strands and I'm going to have two strands of hair on the left and then I'm bringing both of these pieces of ribbon into the third position and I'm just treating this as one strand and then one more strand of hair here on the right. I'm going to start this braid with the strand furthest to the left and I'm going to bring it over the strand it is sitting next to and then under the ribbon and then here with this strand on the right I'm going to bring it under the strand it is sitting next to and then over the ribbon and I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way down. So again, starting from the left, I'm going over and under, and then on the right, I'm going under and over. And I'm going to braid this down probably about seven or eight inches, and then tie it off. Okay, now that I have that braid done, I just tied that off temporarily, and I'm going to put it to the side for now. And then I'm going to take this ponytail and split it in half. And I'm going to use this right half of the ponytail to feed into this braid and then the left half is going to go on the left side of the braid. And I'm just splitting it in half from the beginning so that I can kind of judge how much hair I'm using and it's going to help the braids to stay even. Before we start this braid, again I'm just going to get this hair wet so that it will go in more smoothly. I'm going to be making a French braid and so I've gathered a section here just at the top and I'm going to split this in half. And then I'm going to be using a strand from this ponytail as the third piece in the braid. So I'm just going to braid this in like I normally would. This strand here is going to go over that middle strand. And then I'm going to bring the strand on the other side over the middle strand. Every time I'm here on this left side, as I cross that piece over the middle, I'm taking a piece from this ponytail with it. And you just want to make sure that you're only grabbing the hair from this half of the ponytail and not from the other side. And then on the right side of the braid, you're just going to braid it like a normal French braid, bringing in some hair from the front. So now that I've added in all of the hair from this half of the ponytail and all of the hair over here, I'm just going to braid this down normally a couple of times and then tie it up. Okay, now that we have this first half done, I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. So I'm just going to put this braid out of the way again. And then I'm going to use all of this hair to go into the braid over here. As you're doing this, you're just going to want to try to keep it symmetrical so that it's kind of the same on both sides. All right, after you get both of those sides braided, you'll just kind of want to look and make sure that they're kind of even. If they're not, you might want to fix them at this point. And now I'm going to take this braid in the middle and you're going to be folding it in half. So you'll want to take it and just kind of see where you want that to end. You basically want it at the base of those French braids. So that's about right, right there. And then just tie it off where you're going to need it. You'll probably want to use a clear elastic because it's going to be easier to hide underneath there. And then at this point, there's going to be a couple of different options. If you want this butterfly to have antennas, you can actually just use this ribbon if you want, or you can use some pipe cleaners or other type of wire. If you're going to use the ribbon, you're going to need a topsy tail. So what I'm going to do is just stick the ends of that ribbon onto the topsy tail, and then I'm going to bring it underneath and just up through the top of the ponytail. And then I'm going to trim these at the end so you don't really need to worry about what they're looking like right now. You just want them up there. So with these ends that are here in the center that are left over, I'm going to take them and split them in half. 
and I'm going to feed one half of them up through this side and the other half up through this side. So I'm just kind of lifting this braid up and grabbing it. And then I'm going to take this and clip it so that it doesn't fall down while I'm working on the other side. And then same thing over here, I'm just going to take it and feed it up through this braid. And now I'm going to take these and cross them and lay them over the top of that elastic to help hide it. And then I'm going to feed them back down through the braid. So now that I have both of those ends back down to the bottom, I'm going to take them and tie them together with a clear rubber band. And I'm going to do it up as high as I can and that's going to hold it tight. So I'll just clip this out of the way for now. So as you can see, as I brought those ends through the elastic on the last time, I didn't pull it all the way through and I just left it into a loop and that's just going to help hide those ends for you. So now you can unclip this. So for the last step, you're going to need to hide the ends on both of these braids. If your hair is on the shorter side, it's going to be pretty easy. If it's long like hers, you might have a little bit of trouble. But what I've been doing is just taking this hair and wrapping it around my fingers and just forming it into a little ball and then rolling it up with that braid. And then you can just kind of tuck it all underneath there and pin it into place. If you can cross your bobby pins underneath there, it's probably going to hold with just a couple. And then same thing on this other side, you just want to wrap it up the same way and tuck it right up under there. All right, for the final touch, I'm just going to take this braid here and pin it down just to be sure that it's not going to pop out. And then if you need to trim these little antennas, now is the time to do it. The other thing I was going to mention, if you don't have a topsy tail and you are unable to pull these ribbons up in the beginning, you can actually just take a piece of ribbon and then run a bobby pin through the center of it like that and then just push it down through the top and that will give you antennas as well. So that's just another option. Here's the finished butterfly. Thanks for watching.